All right, so this is the flooring I picked up. I'm really happy with it. It is just a vinyl flooring, comes in a roll. Uh, normally they come in six by eight rolls, but this was a special order that was returned. So I got it for like 30 bucks. It's uh, 13 and a half feet long by six feet, two inches. And my van space in the back is 10 foot by six foot. So this is gonna be perfect. I'll have a little extra on the length. So I'm going to cut it down to 10 feet, the right length, and just bring it all in, bring the whole thing in there, and then trim around the sides to fit. So uh, yeah, totally stoked on that. Okay, well I got it cut to fit. I'm digging it. I think it looks great. And we are ready to bring the bed in. Now as far as uh, securing this flooring and the wood floor to the van, what I'm going to do is incorporate uh, the same brackets that are going to be holding down my furniture, like the desk, the bed. I'm going to use heavy duty L brackets and just drill a hole straight through the wood floor and the metal of the van. Use some big washers and those will be like the major anchor points for the floor and the furniture. Okay, we'll give you a shot of what's up next here. I was going to reuse the plastic window frames that were in this that I tore out but um, pretty much all three of them have at least one crack in them and the holes where they're screwed are kind of broken out. So I think I'm gonna not reuse those and just kind of like trim this out myself. So because I have some of this extra paneling, I took and cut a piece like this, uh, stained it with the uh, linseed oil. I think it looks really nice. And this is just gonna kind of be like uh, just a little decorative piece here. I don't know if you can see that to kind of cover up that space that the plastic window frame would have covered. So I'm just gonna use a little nailer, a little brad nailer to just uh, tack that up there. And then I think I'm gonna do a couple more, or another one, a smaller one, just a little triangle, just to kinda you know, cover up the bare space and make it a little decorative. I think that'll look nice. Out there. Perfect. That looks nice. Okay, I got my little finishing strip there to cover up the seam. I think that looks nice. Kind of like how the grain is alternating there. And I still got to do my little uh, corner pieces here. I'm gonna do two, one there, one there. And yeah, I guess it's time to start thinking about building my desk next. Okay, so we are now on, I believe, day five. I did take a day off of working on the van yesterday. I went and spent some time with a friend. It was uh, very enjoyable, so I'm glad that I took some time to do that. It's kind of starting to burn myself out a little bit, so I'm coming back fresh today. Just wanted to give you a glimpse of where we're at. So we've got the vinyl flooring down, the plywood floor underneath that. Pretty much all of the paneling up as far as the sides. That's uh, insulated behind that. Paneling done on this side. So now I'm able to go in and of course I have my bed frame done too. I've got that out of the van right now because uh, I just picked up some lumber. So I'll probably bring the bed frame back in um, so I know where I'm at as far as working with my desk here and I'm going to get busy on building the desk. So uh, we'll go take a look at the wood that I've got and get that bed frame back in here and get started. Okay, we'll give you a glimpse of what we got here for wood. I did go with a three quarter inch uh, pine plywood. It's actually a little less than three quarter inch. Um, they don't have it in inches, but it says 17.5 millimeters. And they were four by eight sheets, but while I was at Home Depot, um, I did know that I wanted my desk and kitchen countertops to be uh, 20 inches deep or 20 inches wide. So I had them get two 20 inch, uh, wide pieces out of each sheet so I've got a total of four of these and then the leftover extra pieces that I can probably use for something so uh, I tried to and I, I wanted to do everything the same width so I wouldn't have to make multiple cuts and get the most out of each sheet of, sheet of plywood so we're gonna get busy I'll show you what I'm gonna use I am gonna try my hand at doing pocket hole joints. So I've got this Craig jig. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on these and I feel like it was a worthwhile investment uh, and I'll be able to use it to make drawers as well. So this is gonna be kind of a test and review of this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all my pieces cut to length, uh, the right size, and then I'll be able to start joining them together. I am gonna use wood glue as well as the pocket screws. So we'll get busy.
Okay, so I think we're all set up here. I've just got this jig mounted to my uh, work table here. And uh, there's a couple things you do on the jig first uh, to set uh, the wood you're working with. It's got a setting over here, a little screw where you can adjust to the board thickness. So I'm gonna put it at 5 8 And then it also has a little measuring area for your drill bit uh, to set it so you don't drill too deep. So I need to bring that back a little bit to make it 5 8 and then it's pretty simple. You just take your board and set it in here, clamp it, and then drill through the hole. And you've got a nice clean pocket hole. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so I did do some fine measuring on this. This board is 11 sixteenths, which is pretty close to three quarter inch, just a little shy of that. So I put it on the three quarter inch settings. This is actually the 5 8 settings, which is obviously uh, too shallow. So I put it on the three quarter inch setting. You can see on this last hole. So that's the pocket hole there. If you can see down in there, probably not. There's a nice little flat seat inside the bottom of the hole, and you use the special Craig screws to seat in there. So uh, this was my little test board. I'm going to go ahead and drill on my actual board and see if we can do our first joint. All right, looks pretty slick. Go ahead and do the same thing about in the middle. Clamp seems to work really good. Keeps it nice and square and even. Two more. Okay, we'll show you where we're at. Um, uh, on this Craig Jig kit, I'll show you what came with it. This was on sale. Uh, I think it's about $100. You get the jig, you get a starter kit of screws, although I'll just be using this size for the three quarter inch plywood. And then they give you this nice clamp that comes in real handy for clamping your stuff in place. Uh, so I feel like already this is a worthwhile investment. It's gonna really help me out, especially when I get to making my drawers. Uh, but we'll show you how I'm setting this up here. One other thing I invested in is a right angle clamp. These things are super handy. I've been meaning to buy one for a while. I should have had it for my last build, but it basically just gives you an extra hand so you can focus on drilling these in right. It clamps onto your bottom board and then it gives you a nice straight right angle. You can cinch it up real tight and that'll allow me to uh, get my screws in there. So this is kind of the moment of truth. We'll see how this Craig jig works. These Craig screw pocket hole screws work. I'm gonna put a little wood glue in there first, so I'll pull this off, put our glue in there, and then we'll go ahead and get screwed in. Okay, so this is my desk so far. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea how it's going to sit in the van. The back of my front seat will be right here, kind of right up against it almost. Uh, I'll have a little bit of a gap there. And I'm going to put a little uh, finishing piece of wood here along the side that sits up probably maybe an inch. And then another one along the back that'll, you know, keep things from rolling off the back, rolling off the side. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. The next thing I'll do is cut one more board out this side, or this size, and bring it down about six inches here, maybe about four inches. So I'll have another shelf where I can fit in two drawers. I'm gonna to try to build two drawers the same size. That way I'll have plenty of room to put all my desk stuff. And that's where we're at. Well, we'll give you a look at the progress we made today. Got the desk in. Uh, of course, nothing is anchored down. I'm just still test fitting everything. You can uh, see the chair that I got here from Ikea. Pretty happy with it. It's really comfortable and it's adjustable to go up and down. As you can see, it swivels. So happy with that. And this is the desk in here. This is about where it's gonna sit. So we'll have to uh, anchor that down with some L brackets to the, through the floor there. I've got it butted up right against the bed. And of course, I'll be putting some drawers in here. Really like the nice big tabletop workspace there. 
And uh, I'm really glad that I put this in here so I can build some little shelves or put some sort of uh, storage baskets or something there. Same on this side here. Uh, that'll give me kind of a headboard uh, to put my pillow up against on the bed. And then I can put maybe a little shelf up here or something to store things on while I'm sleeping. Real comfy sitting in the seat here. It's going to be a nice little workspace for me. I'm digging it. This is going to work out. This right here is the main reason for upgrading to a bigger van. And having this high top here, as you can see, what I really need is just to be able to sit up straight. And this height here allows me to do that with a lot of extra room. And I can get up and you know, get over to the bed without completely hunching over. So I really like that about this setup. So this is where I'm gonna be uh, calling it a day here. Fortunately, I do have to work the next couple days. I'll be starting my next seasonal job, so I'll show you what that's all about, introduce you to my manager and my coworkers. Uh, be a great holiday job to make some extra money and uh, help me continue to finish this van out. So appreciate you guys following along. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace. <laughs>